Hmm. It looks like they might actually be coming through the southern way. So we're going to have to switch this around a little bit and meet them down here. It's not a big deal. We're not running cavalry, so it's not like we're in uh, suboptimal terrain type here. We can still use most of our tactics if they decide to fight in the uh, swampy area. So let's go ahead and outfit. Actually, we're not doing too bad for our armaments. Um, just go ahead and recruit again. And we have exactly zero action points again. <clears throat> I suspect he's gonna... Oh, he's actually moving Ji Ling north. I thought he would put him back in the city, re-outfit him, and come back at us. Alright, so we're going to be out of range. He's a bow unit. You can't actually attack bows into forest. So what we're going to do is actually set our unit up here in the forest. We're not losing any time because we're not going to get close enough anyway. We would just be getting close enough for them to attack us next turn. So set our pikes here. And let's put our spear unit here. So we found Ding Fung. Oh, he's actually not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. 84, 88, 79 is pretty good. Uh, an S aptitude in Navy and an S aptitude in Spears with Raid. So we'll try and employ here. Um, we will do the debate. We're not going to watch. I think Lu Xun should just be able to spank him here. Yeah, so he employed him. Perfect. And we still don't have to reward anyone. So I think I keep checking, but I'm doing this stupidly. I believe if we look at our own officers and go to skills, we have Benevolent Rule with Sun Dang and Wu Guo Tai. So I'm being silly here. Benevolent Rule means that officer loyalty won't diminish if they're in the same city as this particular officer here. So that's not going to be an issue. Um, so let's just bank these action points and move on. Seems to be a change in the way Liu Biao's army is looking at our force. So our relations have gone down. This happens randomly. Uh, even if you're controlling multiple forces on your own, the relationship between two player created forces will change regardless of any actions you do. So this is just a way for you to maybe have to throw gold into diplomatic relations and give gifts. So we've got Liu Dai, who's nowhere near us. Uh, so... In 8th month of 251, Han Fu was given the title of Lieutenant Governor by Emperor Xi'an. So I'll talk about titles in a little bit here, uh, once we actually are awarded a title ourselves. <clears throat> Alright, so he comes in and attacks us with a bow unit. He takes a thousand casualties to inflict 200 something to us. So... Alright, Sun Tzu is not going to do that. Okay, so let's rake attack you. And we can't use any tactics in this terrain type here, so we'll do that. And then we can center the square. And we failed the tactic. Um, you kind of hear that shh sound, and then uh, it fails. We only had an 80% chance to, to succeed with that tactic. Regardless, though, we spend the willpower on it. He took some damage anyway, and he's going to be retreating this unit anyhow. So, let's, uh, I guess we can start making a little bit of cavalry. It's not a, a huge issue right now, but... Turn. And I'm going to actually send out my Siege Tower next turn with probably another unit as backup. So Huang Gai's unit has been confused by Yuan Shu, and they're sending more units at us. So this is where the AI really fails. 
they've sent out two siege units without support for the most part. This ram will devastate a city if you let it, but it can't do anything to troops in the field. It can't attack them, so it's just going to get butchered. It won't. It won't be able to counterattack. The towers can act like an archer unit and use incinerate, but it's very awkward. They move slowly and they're just going to get killed as well. So let's uh, let's go ahead. One guy is recovered from confused, but he will lose his turn because he was confused last turn. So let's uh, we can't use any tactics here, unfortunately. So let's incinerate the square. And then hopefully when we move Sun Tzu up to attack, he will trigger uh, the Sworn Brother uh, aspect of this here and get a free attack with Zhou Yu. Yeah, I want to provide support, so he gets in a free bow attack there. And we do an extra 224 damage. Nothing great, but nothing. it's free, so let's go ahead and march. We're going to make a tower unit here, so we want to see who's awesome with weaponry. We've got Lu Meng, who's an awesome general all around. We're going to send him out, and uh, we might as well send out another officer who saved got a, a decent... I guess the war skill isn't going to matter much, but we'll send out Sinjian. He is our force commander, and so he can command 10,000 troops. So this this tower unit should be able to take down the city pretty quickly. And then let's just send out Han Dang. Uh, he's an admiral. He won't be contributing anything. Um skill wise to this unit but. okay so i've gone ahead and put this unit together but we only have enough food to send it out for 170 days this is where you start to run into a little bit of problems going with the only market strategy i actually have to back out of this here and then use the merchant command and start selling or buying food with the excess gold we've made so we're going to go ahead and spend uh i guess close to 2100 uh 2100 gold and buy from 17,000 to 31,000 food with Lu Su, who we weren't sending in the field anyway. All right, so now we get to march the tower unit again. So we've got Sun Jian, Han Dang, and Lu Meng, and we'll send them out as a tower unit. And we're gonna move them up here. And once we push through here, we'll be able to bring this tower unit up and around. I might actually just wanna support this with uh, a little bit. We're gonna send cavalry just so they can really push up the road and get ahead of it so actually we don't have any s cavalry generals so we're just going to send a spear unit so we'll send chung pu and sun shang Zhang, even though she's an archer general and let's send uh shu sheng because he's got raids so so we can send a total of 4,425 because that's the maximum we have for spears. And we can still send them out for 200 days because it's a fairly small unit and have not much food left, but enough for now. And we can buy more next turn if needed. So. And just want to make sure, yeah, we do have sufficient food to last the turn. So let's uh, save that up. Perfect, so he's moved into the forest off of the sand, so our spear tactic will now actually work. So we use a rush tactic, and this should automatically crit as long as we do it, as long as it succeeds. We have an 80% chance, but uh, Valiant General is the skill that Sinsa has, and it's automatically going to crit as long as we have a higher war value, which we do in this case. So we succeeded, we've crit, and we've used rush, so now this unit's going to be confused. We did a thousand damage to it and it's confused. And so now even if we just use regular attacks on it, it won't do any counterattack damage. So I don't think we can actually do what we want to do here. We can't shoot the bows into the forest and we can't rake it out far enough. We could send Huang Guy into the fire, but he'll take damage. So we're just going to do this and rake the unit and move it one square out of the forest. Next turn we can rake it again and then hit it with more archers. Send our spears further up the field, followed by the siege engine. And we're just going to attack melee for now because we won't take any damage on the counter attack. Alright. 
Actually, we have enough soldiers for now. So let's go and use the merchants again. Just boost our food up. Let's go down to 2,000 gold. That should be fine. 21,000 food. And advance the turn. Okay, so Guan Qi Jian. He's this guy here uh, in Jiangsha. Okay, so Yan Shu is actually still confused this turn, so we're actually probably going to be able to eliminate him here. We're first going to start off with the rake tactic to pull him out of the forest and into the open ground where we can hit him with the archer unit. So we move Zhou Yu back one. Actually, let's not do that. Let's, let's do this so we can get a free attack in here. Let's just do a regular attack with our spears. Alright, we get the bows behind. And now we can move this back here and incinerate, and this will probably kill him. Yep, so we defeated the unit. Uh, we did it with an archer unit, so we had no chance of really capturing anyone in that unit, but that's fine. So we'll block the road. Move our siege towers up here. Um, I'm not sure I need to bring all three of these units up to attack the city, but... Jiling is still in the city and he could prove a little bit of a problem, so maybe I'll just move them up anyway. It's not like we're hurting for troops back in our main city. So let's just bank more bank more action points and move ahead. So the ram can't do anything. We're being attacked by the siege towers. And we take roughly a thousand damage there. Okay, so let's move out of the fire, and let's rush this unit, and our tactic did not work, but we still did a thousand damage. And then we'll move here and use a little bit of our willpower and incinerate. We're not going to need all the willpower to take down the city with the siege weapon. So yeah, we just did roughly 1500 damage there, so that's pretty good. Let's move our spear unit up. Let's just move it all up. Let's search again. Jiahua, who is very, very meh. We'll still employ him though, bodies are good, so we'll do a debate. We will not watch the debate, and we'll successfully employ him. He starts with 100 loyalty. Let's go ahead and search again. Kanze finds Ding Feng. Uh, another middling officer. We're still going to try it. Wait, yes. Not watch. Um, you know, we have a lot of ability about, uh, action points, so... Let's just keep doing that. Let's just keep searching for now. Zhong Li Mu. Uh, he's actually not too bad. Uh, this skill is a little bit of a throwaway, but A aptitude and weaponry is nothing to sneeze at, even if he is just a 77-72 general. Alright, <laughs> didn't even argue. Okay. And we're back up to 4,374 gold. Uh, having Lu Su around is really good for getting your gold supply back up, even, even if it's just to spend it on more food for now. Siege Tower. The square didn't catch on fire, thankfully. So, Cao Cao has defeated Kong Zhou's army, like we originally suspected there. So now, we're quickly going to have a neighbor <laughs> that's fairly large in Runan. Uh, once we take Shochun. It shouldn't be too bad though. It's it's protected by this narrow causeway here. We can easily put troops there to hold them off if they decide to attack us. And uh, that shouldn't be too bad. Mm. 
Yeah, I'm not too worried about that, actually. It looks like Guan Qi Zhang is fighting against uh, Liu Biao. Oh, he's taking his second city here of Xinyun, so we're not even in uh, peril of being attacked from the west from Jiangsha. And Liu Yong is probably, yeah, he still hasn't even finished filling out his development squares. He's got quite a few squares. He's in a large city, so that's what that icon is next to Jian Ye there. I'll explain what those icons mean in a bit uh, after we finish wrapping up our combat. Okay, so... Let's go ahead and rush this unit. <clears throat> We'll go ahead and just basic attack the ram. They can't counterattack us, so it's not... We're not in any danger of taking damage, so... We can move that. Incinerate the ram. And it seems like it can't quite get in there, so... I don't think Joe is gonna... Either. We'll wait there. And so I just need to look here and see what our officers have. So... A War of 92, our Valiant General skill isn't even going to automatically crit against Ji Ling, so, and he will automatically crit. Oh, they sent him out with pikes again. It's not a big deal. Never mind. Uh, had they sent him out with spears once again, it would have been an issue, but pikes can't confuse. They can do decent damage, but we'll just try and not set it up so that they can do multiple attacks on us like that. Alright. So let's outfit a little bit here. Let's get some more spears made. And advance the turn. Jin Xuan's army. So Cao Cao has now been given a title of Lieutenant Governor because he's conquered his second city. Yu Biao has it as well. Guan Qi Jian. So they've all gone on the offensive much sooner than we have. Okay, so... What do we want to do here? This is going to be blocking us from moving a lot of guys up the column. So we're going to try and take this out with our archers really quickly here. Or not. It has kind of a, a zone of control. And because it's an enemy unit, you can't move past it quickly. You have to move past it one square at a time type idea. So only Chung Pu and Huang Gai are really going to be able to move anywhere. So let's uh, just attack here. Hmm. Let's go ahead and assault this unit. We might as well just throw our tactic points at it for now, or our, our willpower. Chung Pu's unit's going to start taking some pretty nasty hits soon, but that's the way it goes. Let's outfit, let's more spears. Let's search another time. Zhou Fang. Not too bad. Um, Int of 80 with Poison Tongue. It's not superb, but it's okay. So let's debate, but not watch. Perfect. Advance. We have a unit that didn't get to go. Ah, right. <laughs> okay, let's just, uh, just attack here. So Liu Bei, oh Liu Bei didn't actually take out Deng Ai, it was uh, Liu Zhang, or maybe it's Liu Yang. So we have Liu Yang attacking us now, which is perfect. Mm. Liu Yang, okay, it's not Liu Zhang yet. 
So we've got a unit, a pike unit, with a B aptitude, and I, I suspect a, a C navy. Let's see here. Yeah, a C navy attacking, heading for Wanko. So what we need to do here is maybe just send one general out with an S in navy and four or five thousand troops, meet him on the water and just obliterate him. He sent one unit, it's not a big deal. He might send more, but uh, if we just take the fight to the river, it's not going to matter. They're not going to be able to do pretty much anything to us. So let's attack here. Just clear him out of the way so we can move our other units up like this. Let's, uh, let's rush you on shoot. And he's confused. Now we move up with Huang uh, Gai. Let's just give a... Mm. We have Majesty and Pike General here. Uh, we're not going to get the auto crit with the Pike General, but Majesty means we're going to steal willpower when we use our tactic here on Ji Ling. Didn't work. But he still lost the willpower. We just didn't get good a good hit in on him. And we will thrust. And push him off and we won't take any damage or our own. He's slowly moving this siege tower around. All we'll have to do is take a unit with a, a few troops out, meet him out there, and stop him. And we'll be alright. Let's see what we've got here for officers. Uh, if I need to mobilize, I need someone with a good navy skill. Uh, yep, Ding Feng seems pretty good. Or Ding Feng, I guess it is. And even Ling Kao uh, could be good in that unit as well. Zhu Ran as an admiral. So we can just send these guys out and not worry about it at all. We'll, uh, we'll wait for that now, though. It's going to take him more than a few turns to cross this river. Movement is very slow. Oh, <laughs> they have ships and not just boats. Okay, so they're throwing good money after bad, I guess, and outfitting terrible generals with good equipment. Our boats are going to be enough to destroy these ships anyway. All right, so... Tao Qian was defeated by Lu Bu. We saw that coming, so Lu Bu now will get an extra title soon. All right, so we've got two more units here. One's a cavalry general. Okay. So... Let's uh, incinerate Yan Shu here. This should kill him. Yeah. So uh, his... Oh, that didn't even matter for us. Okay. We're probably going to lose Chung Fu's unit. But that's fine. up here. Rush. Hope for a crit. We're not going to automatically crit, but there's a chance that we can get a crit anyway and hopefully confuse this unit, which isn't going to happen. Sure. Now we can move our siege engine up and get one quick attack in there. And we didn't set his square on fire, unfortunately. Alright, his unit's holding out pretty well. Cheng Pu is going to die this turn, for sure. He's going to get attacked by Lei Bo and Cheng Shun. But, uh... I'm hoping they just get sent back to the city without dying for any particular reason. So let's recruit a few here. Four troops, and then let's also outfit bows. Because uh, another tactic you can use is setting up archers behind a port to hit the ships as they come in to attack. Uh, you can hit them from the land, so we'll try that. Ma Tung's army <laughs> its the complete northwest corner of the map, so we're, we're not too heartbroken over that. Wang Lang. Alright, so Yuan Shao has been given a title. Zhang Lu, Lu Bu. 
Okay. And we're gonna add a little chunk of food here. Right here. So the unit was destroyed, but the generals weren't captured. So that's good news. So let's attack here. Let's incinerate the square. Doesn't do anything. And then let's move down here and... Pikes. Let's confuse that unit. Uh, they are okay against our spear, so we'll confuse it. And not worry about the cavalry so much, because there's only a thousand of them. So 948 and confused. And then we'll just move this up here. Mm. Willpower of 60. Let's just incinerate. Five attacks on the city is going to be more than enough. Alright, so the siege tower is getting close. So let's march. Send out a bow unit. Nope, oh, spears. Ding fung. And... Oh, we have two Ding Fangs. Okay. Uh, interesting. There's a few generals in the game that have the same name. Uh, there's two Zhang Baos as well. Uh, there's a few more. Um, so let's see. Lucian. Let's send him out. Uh, just to give it a good intel value. Yeah, let's just send him out with spears. And we'll meet that siege tower on the field. And advance. Okay, so long guys unit hopefully should be able to just finish off G main here. And he does. We didn't capture him, so he's gone to the city. It's gonna take him ten days, so hopefully he doesn't march out again. I want him, I want Jiling in the city when we capture it so we have a chance to actually take him prisoner. So this guy isn't going to be moving. Um, right. Let's incinerate this square. Let's just do an attack here. So Yang Xiang is the officer I was talking about before. He has efficacy, so we're going to try and employ him. He declined, so we're actually going to take him prisoner and keep him with our unit for now rather than releasing him. Uh, the prisoner actually stays with the unit, so if this unit is destroyed for whatever reason, the prisoner is released, and then once this unit enters a city, the prisoner then is transferred to that city, and uh, there's no way to get him back into a unit. Prisoners can't escape from units, but they can escape from cities, especially if the city has a low order, so you uh, need to recruit them before they escape. Some people like to keep their unit in the field so that it can't escape and it gives you more time to recruit it, but I won't have enough food to be keeping this guy out of the city too long, so uh, we'll just sit tight here with that unit. We don't want to take any uh, casualties from cavalry. Right here, we're going to take one hit from this siege tower, but it's not going to be a big deal. Let's march a navy general. We're just going to send it, say... We'll send it with pikes anyway. I don't know if it affects the on water value if you send it out with swords or not, but um, so let's send Chang Pu. He's got a good navy skill. Send Chang Chang, and let's send uh, Zhu Ran as an admiral. So we're gonna get some auto crits here as well. Uh, we don't have. So apparently we started the game with three ships anyway, even though we didn't have uh, a shipyard. Or I just actually haven't ever paid attention before, and it looks like we've been given ships. I'm not sure if it's due to the city specialty or not. I'll look into that in a little bit and uh, mention city specialties in a little bit, but we might as well send them out with ships and just basically obliterate this unit that's coming at us. Okay, so let's outfit pikes. And advance.
Oh, I thought they were cavalry. They're actually pikes here. That's no big deal. Sure. Okay, so we can move this further up the field. Attack the pike unit. 